chance. What are you doing again? Where's your coat? You should be a bit tougher with those stragglers, Mum. I've known you around ages waiting for you to shut up shop. What's the matter? I need you to do something for me. And I need you to do it now. OK. Now, please don't ask me lots of questions. I need you to go to the vicarage. Vicarage? Right. Shoes. Shoes. Where's my shoes? I need you to get me some clothes. There's a suitcase on top of the wardrobe in the spare room. Just pack me anything. Just some stuff to tide me over for a few days. And do you want me to say anything to Ashley? My handbag's behind the front door. Can you grab a few bits from the bathroom as well? OK. I just won't say anything to him then. Where's the stupid car keys? Do you have to drive? In my pocket, as usual. I don't know why I bothered with them key pegs. Mum! Well, now, come on, love. I'm not a pack horse, you know. And I can't just walk into someone's house and start rooting round the cupboards. I'm gonna have to say something. It's nearly midnight. It's gonna want some sort of explanation. And I'm not bringing her through the village in her pram and dragging a suitcase behind me. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm taking the car. Why am I doing this? Just leave the baby where she is. Now, hang on a minute. You're not thinking this through. And you're not listening to me. I am. Let me finish. If you're leaving him, that's fair enough. And I know you won't want Gabby upset, but if she stays there and you're gone, that's going to send out all the wrong messages. To who? Well, I don't know. The police. Divorce. People, if that's where this is heading. Everybody! Mother, you're babbling. Well, of course I'm babbling. I was half asleep with a brandy in my hand two minutes ago. I don't want you to bring Gabrielle. Bernice, I'm putting my foot down. Now, either you go home and sort things out, or I'll go, get your stuff, talk to Ashley, and Gabby comes back here with me. All right. I'll do it myself. I'll get my stuff and I'll go to Trisha's. But you can't. What about tomorrow? I don't care about tomorrow. I'm too tired. I can't do it anymore. What? Can't do what? Any of it. I've tried and I've tried. I've thought about nothing else since she was born. You've struggled. I know you have, love. Everybody struggles, Mum. It's not that. I wish it was. Then what is it? truth is, I'm not a good mother. I'm not fit to be a mother. Oh, don't say that. Oh, you are a silly girl. No, Mum, please listen to me. I don't want to be a mother. Do you hear me? I don't want it. Now, you can dress it up any way you like. But I've made a terrible, criminal mistake. And I feel like a criminal saying these things, and I'm sure people will treat me like one, and I probably deserve it, but I can't go on like this. But it's too late for that. You have to. No. Because the longer it goes on, the worse it's going to get. I don't care what anybody says anymore. I've got to do something. I've got to leave. I've got to get away from her. What do you mean, leave? I mean, leave here, the village, for good. But that poor little baby. She's our baby. I'm sorry, but I can't see any other way. I've made up my mind and I'm not changing it. I think it's the fairest thing to do. No! Oh! Fairest for all! Fairest for both of us, for her! God, you hurt me. Not as much as you hurt me. You see these hands? My daughter or not, the way I feel now, I could put these hands round your throat and not stop until you've shut up! That's how much you've hurt me! I'm phoning the emergency doctor. No. I am. I shouldn't have hit you. I'm sorry. You're not well. Anyone can see that. It won't make any difference. I knew this would happen! I told your father weeks ago there was something wrong. And I told you weeks ago how bad I was feeling. But would you listen? No. 
Give it time, you said. Well, I've given it time and it's got worse. That's because you haven't had the proper help you need. Your hormones are all over the shop. You're depressed and you've got that thing. What thing? Hundreds of women get it. Well, I haven't. Doctor now, are you? No. This is me you're talking to, Mum. I've read every book, every leaflet. I've talked to the doctor, the health visitor, half the village. Must be the only woman in Britain who's prayed she's got postnatal depression. I'm an expert in it, but I haven't got it. But you must have. This is a kid's life. Your life. Ashley, me. There must be something we can do. I think I'd better go. You will not. I can see what's going to happen here. You've come to me to drop your little bombshell and I'll be damned if I'm the one that's going to do the explaining. You're not going to slow up off and lay this all on me, Bernice. Rodney, Bernice has got something she wants to tell you. Get your backside over here right now. We'll see. You got everything you ever wanted. Everything on your wish list and you're still not happy. You got the man who adores you, who worships you, who'll do anything for you. And what did you do with that? Had an affair. You had an affair. You got the beautiful home, money in the bank, support, friends. Then after years of clucking over everyone else's kids and I can't wait to be a mother, you got the baby. You're not saying anything that I haven't said to myself a thousand times. I don't want to feel like this. Well, maybe it's a pity you don't want to feel like it. Because every time you get what you do want, you change your flaming mind. This isn't helping. Feel free to say something useful, Rodney. Why don't you? I can't change the way she feels. What am I supposed to say? Oh, God. Oh, Bernice. I know you are, love, and I wish for your sake that was enough, but it isn't. Is that Louise? She's out for the night. It'll be Ashley. No. I called him before I came over. I had to. Why? I had to. But I can't face him now. There's going to be a lot of things hard to face. Get used to it. So where are the emergency services? No bodies strewn around the place. Not even a bit of blood. Nothing that would suggest any reason to drag me out here in the middle of the night. The Black Stocks are having a tea party. Right, why don't I just go? Ashley! Don't you dare! Don't... Please, Gabrielle. As if you cared! Don't try and wheedle your way out of this one. You left that baby crying in her cot. How long has she been there for? She wouldn't settle! I couldn't make her settle! There was nothing I could do! That's no excuse for leaving her lying there. What sort of mother would Careful, you... Careful, Ashley. No, it's inexcusable. And to cap it all, when I got downstairs to fetch Gabrielle a bottle, I had to spend another ten minutes sorting one out because you'd left them all dirty on the drainer. You're going to need the practice doing the bottles if Miss Ficklenick is here gets her way. Stop it! I've had enough from you! I'm barely warmed up yet. I came to you for help! I told you weeks ago! There was nothing you said to me that was any different from what any new mother says. You know, she's planning to do a bunk. Oh, well, we have been back together for all of a week, so I did wonder when the next crisis was going to happen. So what is it this time? Am I too clingy? Am I not clingy enough? Or maybe I'm just not Spanish enough? Oh, don't take it personally, son. It's nothing to do with you. It's the baby she's taken against this time. I haven't taken against her. No, sorry. You just don't love her enough to be her mother. Ashley, I... I know you must be wondering what the hell is going on, and really, we're just grappling with it. I'm afraid Bernice isn't... Well, coping very well. Oh, Dad. Bernice? What's the matter, love? I can't even bear for you to look at me. It's true what Mum says, all of it. I am a selfish, wicked bitch and I don't deserve you and I certainly don't deserve her, but I don't want it. She says she wants to leave Gabby. What? And you didn't think to tell me any of this? How could I? Do you think I wanted a breastfeeder for that long? I only 
did it because I thought if I kept on with it, the feelings might come, but they haven't. I feel things for you, for Mum and Dad, even for the stupid pub. But when it's just me and her, there's nothing there. You should... How long have you felt like this? It's not that I don't care about her. I know she's a wonderful baby. I know how lucky I am. I know how I should be feeling, but I don't feel anything, and I haven't since the start. Maybe if you'd shared this with me, I could have helped. How? You can't put something in me that isn't there. Bernice, she's not even two months old. Ashley, you must have seen lots of new mothers. I've tried to explain to her it's the same for everybody. It's not all satin robes and talcum powder, is it? I've spent time with young parents in the village and I've seen what incredibly hard graft it is and what an utterly thankless task it can be at times. You forget these things as time goes by, but now you're saying it, I do remember feeling just the same, didn't I, Rodney? I was all over the place. I didn't know if I was coming or going. For those first months, wasn't I the most useless mother ever to walk the face of the earth? Tell her, Rodney. No, you won't. Oh, Rodney! You did some daft things. You got things wrong, but in everything that mattered, you got right. You were the most fantastic mum, and you know it. Don't you realise how important this is? Yes! Yes, I do. I'm the one who walked out when she was a baby, remember? And I respect her far too much now than to play some stupid game about who's the worst mother. I hate you! You always hated me, but... But you loved her. And if Bernice doesn't feel like that about Gabrielle, then we should accept what she's saying. I only hope you know what you're doing. Is that her? It's all right. You shouldn't have brought her. What else could I do? Oh, for God's sake, somebody do something. Oh. It's not fair on her. Oh. And it's not all right. Come on, my little lamb. You settle down. What am I going to do? I don't know, son. I've made you some toast. You haven't eaten. Thanks. It's been freezing, isn't it? I bet Diane could do with the brandy. <laughs> Diane could always do with the brandy. Yes, but particularly now, Rodney. Yeah. I'll go and see how she's doing. You'll be all right, love. I will if I go. He did when I was barely a kid. This is different. Why? Because I'm a mother and he was only a dad. Try and think about times you've enjoyed with Gabrielle. Uh, there must be moments. Uh, little trips out, or, or bath time, or when we've taken her to see people. I honestly thought that she'd just plop out and that a few hours or even days later I'd get this overwhelming feeling that everyone talks about. I'd fall in love with her, the way other mothers do with their babies. Like Letitia, like you have. People say that when you have a baby, it puts your whole life into perspective. That you realise you've been obsessing over silly little things that don't matter. Well, all I can think about are the silly little things because they matter to me. So when you've been feeding and, and, and she's calm and happy and, and she's looking up at you, what are you thinking about? 
hail extensions. Oh, hate me if you like. Um, when are the sales going to start? I try not to look at her, because when I do, all I can think is, oh my God, what have I done? Your capacity for hiding things. You never cease to amaze me. I'm not proud of it, Ashley, but I've been desperate. I know when people look at me, they see this great swan thing gliding through the water like it's all so easy. But what they don't see are these weird little feet paddling like Billy to keep it all afloat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really are priceless. Well, I'm glad you find it funny. In the beginning, I idolised you. But when I look at you now, I see a perfectly normal mess of a human being. Your breath smells as bad as mine in the morning, Bernice. Who the hell do you think you are? Ashley! You had to be the swan, didn't you? You couldn't just be a duck like the rest of us. You've come out with some incredibly harsh things tonight. Have I? I'm sure when she's had a chance to think about it, she'll understand. Rodney, shut your mouth. You haven't said much tonight, but what you have said's been more than enough. Well, maybe this time, just for once... Just for once, I understand her better than you. Because I know what she's been going through. There's only two acceptable ways a woman can leave a baby. One is if the men in white coats cart her off, and the other is if she goes via the crematorium. Not these days, surely. It must be fantastic to be you. You bool in after 30 years and get to say all the right things. All the things she wants to hear. She will be spat at in the street. She'll have to get as far away from here as she possibly can. Somewhere she can pretend she was never a mother. She'll be walking away from a perfect, healthy, beautiful baby. And the kind of life she'll have if people know. You wouldn't wish it on a dog. But she won't leave us. She will. Because she won't have any choice. She can't. No. Look at what happened when I started that youth club. They walked all over me because I couldn't bring myself to say no. And in the end, I completely lost my rag and we all stopped off home in a huff. But those kids weren't yours. So I'm supposed to be a natural with Gabrielle just because I'm related to her? It obviously hasn't worked for you. Has it never occurred to you that the reason I find it so easy with her now is because A, she can't answer back, and B, she's too little to run away? I don't know. And what about Diane? What about her? You tell me there were times you were sent to bed with a packet of crisps and a bottle of pop when she was entertaining a fella? So? Hardly textbook parenting, but still a great mother. She was, she is. All the time? Yes. Seriously, all the time. <sighs> No, not every minute of the day. Uh, and then, then there's, there's Gabrielle's first disco to think about. They don't do discos anymore. See, I've just made a complete fool of her in front of the whole school because you... So you won't do it? I'm a daddy! Of course I'll do it! But I really don't think you've thought beyond making your escape. Yes, I have. All right, all right, right, right. What about when, 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 when she's ten? And she's got absolutely no boobs, but she's determined to wear a bra. For God's sake, Mum will help you. Oh, I'm not just talking about buying any old bra. I'm talking about her first bra. Going into town with her, finding the best shop, her helping her pick something out and sniggering with the woman every time Gabrielle's back's turned because it's so funny. Can you imagine that moment? And we'll go for a burger afterwards and she'll look all smug and pleased with herself. Wondering if anyone else knows her little secret life. Wouldn't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> what the hell do you want me to say? That's your daughter I'm talking about. And she's ten years old, and I want you to tell me how you feel. I feel jealous, all right? Well done, Ashley. I feel jealous. So you haven't thought beyond today? It's getting there that scares the life out of me. And what'll happen to me? And I don't think I can get there in one piece. <laughs> oh, 
All I wanted was to be a good mother. Then maybe you're going to have to lower your standards a bit. You're not just like this about Gabrielle, you're like this about everything. You, you don't mean a good mother. You mean a great, or a brilliant, or maybe even the best mother. No, I don't. Everything you do has to be perfect right now. What breaks my heart is not what you do or don't feel about the baby. It's the amount of pressure you put yourself under just for things to appear normal. And it's not the first time you've broken my heart because of that. Listen, you might be a saint. That's not fair. But when fair. you've been picked up and dumped as many times as I have and everybody's witnessed it, why do you think I wear so much slap? It's not to make me look better, it's armour. It's all right. I don't want to be weak. I've been weak and humiliated too many times, and I can't bear it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But how could I possibly ask you for help when it should be the most natural thing in the world to love your own baby? I feel like such a freak. Maybe you are. But maybe next week, next month, next year, I'll be the freak. I want to love her so much. And you will. Actually, I've been so lonely. It's all right. It's all right. We'll make something work. Even if we're just average at it. Do you promise? <laughs> I can definitely promise you average. <laughs>